two years ago at the University of North Dakota. Uh, did you envision this would be happening to you? Just what you wanted? Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a dream of every kid that grows up in Canada, I guess, to play in the National Hockey League, and I was no exception. Uh, I really didn't know if I was going to make it or not, and that's really why I went to university rather than play major junior, because if I didn't make it, I wanted something to fall back on. And, uh, you know, I look, look at it now that everything worked out fine, and I did make it, and you know, I'm really happy to be here. When did you really think that you could be a National Hockey League player? When did it hit you that you said, geez, I'm good enough to play in the National Hockey League, maybe? <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> no, it happened in, maybe in the university. Uh, my first year, the coach said, Gino Gasparini, uh, you know, he knew uh, what it took to play in the National Hockey League, and he told me, he says, if you work hard and, uh, you know, really work on your basics, that you may make it. So I said, you know, I agreed with him, and, you know, I worked hard in the university my first year, and it really went together well in the second year. Uh, you know, I had a lot of opportunities uh, to turn pro that year, and I waited until the end of the season after we won the NCAA, and, uh, you know, here I am in Chicago. If you reflect back on this year and last year, what's the biggest improvement, do you think, in your game? Well, I think what happened last year is I started playing well and started to believe in myself again. And uh, The thing that I that's made the difference is I've got a lot of confidence, I feel. And, uh, you know, last year I, I knew that I was playing better than I had been in the, few, the past or the previous two years. And, and this year I had a lot of confidence. Even when I came into camp that I, I knew that I could play. And, uh, you know, I knew that I had some good line mates playing with uh, Kurt and Eddie to finish off last year and the start of this year. And I really like and I really enjoy playing with those two guys. And they really helped me. Uh, you know, Eddie's a good young player. And... Uh, Kurt's a veteran that works hard every game, and uh, both the way that they play has rubbed off on me considerably in, in different ways. Uh, you know, Kurt's a leader out there by example. He goes out and he plays the same way every game, and you know, Eddie's got the raw talent that he's already shown a lot of things that some players will never have, but he's got a long ways to go uh, in becoming a superstar, in which I think he will sometime. Lately, you've had to check Wayne Gretzky. You've had to check the top lines. How do you enjoy that? Well, it's, I think it's a, I enjoy it. It's a challenge, and sometimes it makes me look kind of bad because uh, the last time Gretzky was in town, you know, he, he had a record seven points, but that's that's going to happen every once in a while. And The thing is you have to do is you have to put that game or any game that you play bad behind you and not let it worry you. And I think that if uh, Mr. Puff has got the confidence in me uh, to play against the top lines on the other teams and the top players in the league, that, you know, I have to look at that as a challenge and accept that challenge is uh, him having confidence in me and my play and when I'm out there playing against those guys it's it's not only myself it's my line mates and the defensemen and the goaltender that uh, you know plays against their, their top unit and if we can do a good job on them a lot of times we're going to win hockey games every year after the season uh, you go back to North, North Dakota to finish off your education and is that going to be the plan until you do your, get your degree? Well, I, it's going to be for the next couple of years. I think I've, I've gone back the last two years, and I enjoy going back to school. I don't know enough people in Chicago that I, I think I could spend the whole summer here. I think uh, it would get pretty monotonous. So I go back to school and where I know a lot of people, and I enjoy it there. And You know, it, school's not all that tough. You, know, you have to spend your time at it, but you've got to leave a lot of free time to do everything. And what's happened at the University of North Dakota is, players that were there when I was there are going back to, and finishing school the same as I was. And there's a lot of people that have married uh, girls from there, which I never did, but they end up spending the summer there too. So we have a lot, we have a lot of fun. We golf uh, almost every day. We swim, we play tennis. And there's a lot of things that uh, you know we can do in Grand Forks together. Are you good at living alone? Are you, are you good around the house? And... Of course I'm a, I'm a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> I can clean, I can iron. I, this is a little wrinkled, but that's the way it's supposed to look. And, <laughs> good thing the TV camera doesn't show around the, the place because it'll show a little bit of dirt but I, I don't mind living myself I cook and I eat it <laughs> anybody <laughs> else would or not obviously you're doing the right thing because uh, you know, 85, 86 years it's been a good year so far yeah that uh, it has uh, you know like I say I can't complain the way things have been going this year at all and I just hope that they keep up and the only thing I can do is so whether they keep up or not is I can just keep working as hard as I can and not worry about what's going to happen because if you start worrying and uh, you know things you start pressuring yourself too much and 
finally going to have some fun on the ice. I'm going to have some fun off the ice too and take my life the way it is and I'll play hockey day by day and live day by day.